Hi guys, this is Miss Crafty Bee, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY office supplies or school supply, and it's going to be a notepad. It's very simple. I have two designs, um, horizontal and a vertical, and one is using a cardboard cover, and the other one is using cardstock cover. And these are fun for notes, for little messages, and they're made with index cards or white sheets of paper. The materials you will need will be different depending on what you want to use or what materials you have around your house. The first are index cards or regular paper. Second, cereal box, cardstock or thin cardboard, school glue or Mod Podge, scissors, ruler, a pencil, eraser just in case. Preferably a heavy object or you can also use clips. Let's begin. For the first notepad, I'm going to be using index cards and I'm going to be using a cereal box. I know exactly what part of the cereal box I want as my cover, so now I'm just going to place my index cards on top, on the inside of the box because I already cut the box open. And now I'm going to be tracing it and cutting it out. So I have my two parts, my cover and my counted index cards. So now I'm just gonna line them up, make sure they are neatly stacked, and I will be using my patch for this notepad. I'm gonna place the notepad under the heavy book with the edge sticking out. Make sure it's neatly stacked. Everything is neatly stacked so it could cover all the, the sheets or all the index cards. I will now apply a layer of Mod Podge and don't be afraid to use your finger. You can wash the Mod Podge off. That's why we're going to use it for this notepad because it holds but not as much. Oh, I almost forgot. If you're doing this, make sure that the surface that's, that you're doing this on is either somewhere where you don't care if it'll get ruined or place something on the bottom because the glue might ruin surface okay. okay wait for this layer to dry or semi dry and apply another layer or even two more layers put the heavy objects on top of it and wait for it to dry <laughs> now we will begin our second notepad this notepad I will be using regular computer paper that I will fold in half and cut in half and cardstock that I will measure trace and, and cut um, to the length and width of the papers that I'm using so I'm gonna clip this notepad and I'm gonna apply a layer of school glue make sure you apply a good generous layer because you do want to coat all the sheets once again don't be afraid to use your finger and use two coats I decided to clip this notepad and place a heavy object on top now you all you have to do is wait for your notepads to dry and you are done and they are ready to be used Thanks for watching, this is Miss Crafty B and come back next time for another video. Don't forget to thumbs up and leave a comment below. Love you. Voila, you are done.